We're just going down, guys. Jack Reeve, Talk Norris City from a very noisy Clapham uh, in London. By the way, Ofo bike. Them things are good. I tried one out in Cambridge the other day. They're really good. Um, anyway, back for a little walk and talk video um, to say that Norris City fans have successfully raised five million let me repeat that five million pounds in the canaries bond this is of course the bond that was set up to um, create new facilities down at colney and basically make our academy half decent um, the board probably didn't have the money to put that in the original aim was to raise three and a half million pounds i think the minimum we could have raised was two million and the maximum was five million this bond opened i think last week beginning of last week um, and it was open until late May um, and we've smashed it by the 27th of March um, we've smashed the five million pound mark now what does this mean for the club well it means that we can crack on with the redevelopment of Colney sooner rather than later the quicker we get it done hopefully the quicker we can keep um, it's a fire somewhere I think the quicker we can keep hold of our best young uh, players the quicker we can bring in new players and the quicker we can hopefully get young players into the first team because I think the end goal is to essentially develop our own players rather than have to scout and have to buy elsewhere um, I think it once again though just proves that Norwich City fans are, are remarkable um, there was a lot of criticism when this bond came out um, if you haven't already go and watch my video I've done a whole video on it um, whether you should invest whether you shouldn't what it basically was um, and Norwich City fans, I mean, in this current financial climate, there's not too much cash knocking about. And I, I fully suspect a lot of people put all they had into this. One, because they want to see good for the club. Two, because it was a nice little interest return. So it was a decent little investment. I didn't invest in the end, uh, mainly because I didn't particularly want my money locked up for five years. Mainly because I'm getting to that point in my life where I'm probably going to be looking to buy a house in the next couple of years and having X amount of thousands of pounds locked up in an account until I'm 25 probably isn't the ideal situation. Probably slightly silly of me not to invest because uh, I certainly won't be getting that interest rate in a bank account anytime soon. So to the people who did, well done and hopefully we get promoted and you get a nice little 25% little bonus as well. I'd also be very interested to see how much the percentage of that five million pounds was invested by sort of corporate people um the, the the board itself would delia have invested a million pounds in it i don't know would big business people um in the norfolk scene or norwich city fans in general invest a million pounds i don't know i know there were rumors spreading that two separate businessmen who will remain nameless for this were each putting in 1.25 million each if you've got that money knocking about probably a win-win situation for you but once again it shows that Norwich City fans on the whole are very invested in this um, in this new regime on the Weber and Fark if they weren't and they certainly wouldn't have been putting their money into it um, and I think it's exciting times for Norwich City what we've seen this season is it's been far from inspiring but I think if we stick with it I think we'll reap our rewards um, I hope so anyway, because I really want it to work. And yes, we need to see some inspiring performances from now until the end of the season to really get behind it. But I think give it another season. Let's see where we are this time next year. And hopefully we're in a positive position. But I mean, to raise five million pounds from fans in what a week is unheard of. It's brilliant. And it is a reason why I'm so proud to be a Norwich City fan because our fans are some of the most committed, loyal and mental <laughs> people on this planet. Let me know your thoughts. Did you invest in the bond? Are you excited to maybe get that 8% bonus back? Could be 33% if we go up as well. Um, if you didn't invest, why not? And uh, do you think it's a good idea, this whole re academy redevelopment? Are you excited to bring through young players or would you rather go out and try and buy the talent in like the likes of Brentford have done? Scrap their academy completely. Let me know your thoughts, hit subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. 
A big thanks to Fans Bet for being the official partner of Talk Norwich City. They're offering special bets this weekend. The perfect weekend enhanced at 20 to 1. Norwich to win, Ipswich to lose, and our closest team to us in the league, Brentford to lose. And also enhanced odds on a great weekend. That's Norwich to win, Ipswich to fail to win, Brentford also failing to win. All you have to do, go to fansbet.com or the Fansbet app on your phone. Go to football and then Norwich City specials. <laughs> 